Okay, uh, thank you uh, very much for uh, the kind invitation. It's always a pleasure to participate in your, your workshop. And so in this uh, uh, seminar, I would like to speak about a, a, a problem that uh, uh, I like uh, a lot uh, and that I, I started to study uh, uh, quite a lot of time ago. So there are a lot of collaborations, some are more expert than in the domain part, some are more expert in the, in the analytic uh, part. And so let, uh, uh, let's start. So uh, we are going to consider a three-dimensional contact uh, subliminal manifold. So for all of you that know the Eisenberg group, we have the generalization of the Eisenberg group. So we are in a three-dimensional uh, manifold connected. And then uh, we assign a, a smooth vector distribution. So in each point of the tangent uh, space, we give a, a two-dimensional. So two dimensional play in the, the tangent space is uh, three dimensional, and then uh, we assume that uh, this uh, distribution uh, satisfies the Omander condition. So this means that uh, if you uh, actually the, the distribution in the space is moving, it's not uh, it's not uh, it's not constant. And if you consider vector field that are tangent uh, to the to this distribution, you put bracket this vector field. Then immediately with one bracket you get the full uh, dimension. Of, uh, of the space as in, as in the Eisenberg group. So, this is the simplest uh, example of a uh, subriman manifold. We yeah, have to say that we need that a Riemannian metric on the distribution. So, we know how to compute the length of vectors and the angle of the vectors for vectors that belong to this T, so to the, to the distribution. On the other side, vector that point outside the distribution. So, this we are not able to measure, but actually, every vector has a uh, length if okay, so this is uh, uh, this is what we have so the three dimensional space, uh, then the distribution, and then a, a, a curve is said to be uh, horizontal. So if uh, its velocity belongs to, belong to, the, to the distribution, and then uh, uh, for every horizontal curve, we are able to compute its length exactly with the same formula as the Riemannian uh, manifold, so this is the this is the norm of the vector uh, velocity, and we are able to do this only for this type of curve, so the tangent. If the curve is not tangent to this, then the length will be uh, infinite. So once that we have, uh, uh, we are able to compute uh, the, the the length of curves, we are able to compute the distance between points exactly as uh, in uh, the Riemannian context. So the distance between two points. Will be the infimum of the length of all curves connecting two points that are horizontal, so that are always tangent to the distribution. And uh, uh, the important point of all of the, of the theory of subimagined the geometry is the fact that uh, the Ormander condition implies that this is a true distance, so that uh, for every pair of points there exists a curve horizontal that connect them with finite length, so that this distance is finite. And actually, one can prove that it is a true distance, and then uh, respect the topology of M, so P to the to the secret topology used by this uh, uh, by this distance, you get the original uh, topology of, uh, of, of the manifold. And this distance it is called the Carnot uh, Caratiodori distance. And there is a lot of community are studying many properties of this distance because of, as you can imagine, the fact that you have some direction that are forbidden. Make this distance very, very bad. And so, what I'm going to, uh, ah, sorry. So, uh, all this can be uh, uh, written to the framing of an orthogonal phrase. So, as an Emanuel geometry, you can always find a normal locally phrase. In this case, it will be just made by two, by two vectors so that they span the, the distribution and that they are uh, orthonormal. So, this means that the, the length of each of them is one and they are. Uh, by over two. And so if you write the problem of finding the curve realizing the distance between two points, then you uh, end up with an optimal problem because you fix uh, initial and final point, then you decompose your uh, velocity along the normal frame, then you minimize the, uh, the, uh, this uh, integral of g of, uh, of the length of, of, of the vector velocity, and then if you decompose, then this is autonomous frame, then you get just this point. 
and so this is uh, the optimal control <laughs> that you get locally when you try to realize the the, the distance between you. Okay, uh, so one can say many things about something like this. But here uh, I'm going to uh, now consider the following problem. I'm not too interested to the geometry outside, but they consider a surface. So in this three dimensional space, I consider uh, a surface. And then uh, I would like to know uh, which geometry it is that uh, uh, he inherits this, uh, this surface from the ambient space. It is not completely, completely clear. And uh, for, for instance, if you have a three dimensional Riemannian manifold, you can consider a two dimensional surface in this. So this becomes a Riemannian space, which is a kind of the, the, the Riemannian many the Riemannian structure on the side project to the surface, so you get a, a two-dimensional Riemannian manifold. But for sub Riemannian, it's not true because if you start from a three-dimensional sub Riemannian manifold and then uh, you consider a surface, and uh, the structure that you will have on the surface will not be sub Riemannian because in dimension number two does not exist any sub Riemannian manifold. This is due to the fact that uh, the distribution should be of a dimension uh, less of one, and then you can can do bracket with just one vector, and then uh, it is not possible to get this for another condition. So, so uh, clearly, if you do this, uh, we will get uh, at the end some other structure that is not uh, subrimanian, and here we are going to study uh, to study this. Um, <coughs> So the question to which I'm interested are, are the following. So first, I would like to uh, know if the new distance, so now I consider the new distance, so I have this surface, I have the distance outside, and then I consider two points on the surface. I would like to connect them with curves of finite length that live also on the surface. They are on the surface. So this looks difficult, and we will see. Uh, what uh, what happened? So I uh, will consider the infimum of the length of curves that uh, are stable on the surface such that the uh, the uh, velocity belongs to the distribution and it is also on the, of the tangent space to the surface and then uh, with the initial finite point uh, fixed and then I'm asking if this uh, distance uh, given to the, to the surface see a structure of negative space. So we see that sometimes the answer is yes, and sometimes the answer is no. And once that this is done, we will study some more analytic uh, questions. And so we will discuss how one can uh, define some diffusion process and some Schrodinger evolution on this side of the uh, cost Okay. So uh, just to be clear about that thing that everybody understood. So when I speak about the distance of the surface, so this is what in the theory of magnetic space is called the intrinsic or induced distance. So the distance in this point, this point is not this one. So it's not the distance outside the strict uh, point, but it's the, really the, the distance that you get uh, considering only, uh, only uh, curves that belong uh, to this. Okay. But it's, uh, so the topic is divided into two parts. So first we discuss the geometry that is in this phase. Then we discuss the finite the distance and then uh, the Schrodinger evolution, some, some words on the heat evolution. Okay. So just uh, it is some historical remarks. So the, the problem of studying uh, the geometry of phases inside uh, contacts of the mind manifold was not invented by, 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 by us actually. Also studied uh, uh, a lot in the community of, uh, of contact uh, geometry, in particular the work of Benekan and uh, Giroux uh, from the 80s and the uh, 90s, and we studied a little bit also in the, in the community of, of Sabrimanian geometry. Okay. <clears throat> so, uh, admissible curve of, uh, of the surface. Are integral curves of a field of direction that is the intersection of the distribution with the tangent space. So let's see an example. Uh, this is the Eigenberg group. So the distribution is generated by these two vector fields. So this is a sphere in the Eisenberg group as, a, as an example. So here, the, this black uh, uh, disk is uh, the distribution. And so uh, you make the intersection with the tangent space and you get a line, each point a line. And then you will have two types of points. 
the points where tangent to the surface and the distribution are uh, so like this, and in some more, uh, let's say, rare points, they will lose that, and the, these are the points that in this case are uh, at, the, at the equator and uh, at the, the North Pole and the, the South Pole. So, uh, so for the uh, general uh, structure, we have two types of points. So we call regular points, the points in which the distribution of so this one and the tangent space are transversal. So this will be a direction given by the structure, that mystical direction of, of trajectories. And then we have characteristic points where the two uh, coincide, so these are called uh, like, like this. So the set of characteristic points is uh, uh, actually uh, could be complicated, but uh, generically, this is true. So, generically, it is uh, made by isolated points, and in the following, we are always assuming that these uh, characteristic points are isolated. Otherwise, the theory become uh, complicated, and, uh, and uh, there are, we have to consider many uh, other pathological, uh, pathological cases. Okay. <clears throat> this uh, uh, field of direction. It's called uh, the characteristic field of direction. So this is really direction given by the intersection, but you say with the, uh, with, with, the, with the distribution. The integral curves of this are is called the characteristic foliation. And each element of this characteristic foliation is called a leaf. So uh, on the surface, we have picture like this. So this will be the regular point. And this will be the characteristic points, and then we are going to study what type of points we, uh, we are going to have. So notice that each leaf on this characteristic collection, it is locally equivalent to R, because we have the remaining structure on this uh, distribution. So, and then we intersect with, a, with another, with a, with another two-dimensional space, we have a one-dimensional space, and so we have an Euclidean structure on, the, on each uh, of, on, on each uh, uh, element of this uh, uh, field of direction, no? on, each, on each point, we have an Euclidean structure. So we are able to compute actually the length of this, of this curve mm -hmm. because we have this, uh, uh, we are able to compute the length of vector that it can belong to the distribution. And so we are able to compute the, the length of, of the vector here uh, because this belongs to the distribution by, uh, by, by, by the field. So we see that uh, uh, the, the structure that we get on the surface, so this is the simplest uh, observation from the external structure, is a foliation in which uh, every leaf is locally equivalent to R. So we have this uh, type of uh, stranger graph. And uh, uh, but actually we see that there's some additional uh, invariant, the dark curvature like invariant can be derived here and that I will discuss, uh, we'll discuss later. And then, uh, now let's come to the problem of the finiteness of, uh, of this distance. So if you uh, want to know if your distance is finite, so you need to be able to connect the two, two points, for instance, this point here with this point here with the admissible curve of this, uh, uh, of this structure. And for instance, here it is this, uh, uh, this red line, so you should arrive here, then you go here, then go here. And then you should compute the length of this, and then the distance will find out the length of this line. Uh, of, this, uh, of, of, of this line, it is actually uh, actually uh, finite. So the controllability for so this is a controllability problem because it means that you can go everywhere. The finite of the distance actually uh, depends on uh, two things: the topological structure of this graph. Because if, if your graph has no characteristic points, you have just uh, some line like this, they never are attached one to the other one. The distance between two points that are not to the same line will be infinite. So we not, uh, uh, so we depend on the topology. And also depends on the fact that if it is true or not that the length of something that arrives here, so this is an uh, Euclidean structure, but uh, when you arrive to the characteristic point, the length in principle will be infinite. So we have to verify that the uh, uh, actually, it's fine. Okay, for instance, uh, uh, a simple uh, uh, simple result that uh, one would get by doing any kind of computation that if the characteristic foliation admit a periodic 
trajectory, then this distance is not fine because then this uh, uh, you cannot go from the periodic trajectory outside uh, and then uh, so there are points that are in, at, at infinite uh, infinite things. So but it is very topological actually this way. Okay, so some example to understand if you for a group of you that could not uh, know uh, the, uh, the isomer group. So if you have a for instance an isomer group a vertical plane like this, so the distribution here it is really uh, given by horizontal line. In this case, uh, this problem the, the, the distance this point is not finite, so it's finite only if you belong to the same line, but the distance between a point here and a point here is infinite because you don't have a way of connecting them. So, just to show an example, which the distance is in. For him, but if you consider a plane that is a, a, a horizontal in the iceberg the distribution, then the characteristic foliation has the, the shape of a star like this. And here, the, the distance is finite because to go from a point here to any other point, for instance, a point here, it's sufficient to arrive here to come back, and you immediately compute that the length of this is, is finite. And then, in this case, uh, uh, this distance is finite. But notice that this is a, not a, a standard distance. This is what in practice for the uh, SN set distance. So, to go from any to city in France, you should pass to Paris. And so, this is absolutely not equivalent. Uh, to, to the Euclidean distance. So it is some other distance in the uh, uh, in, in United Kingdom, they have a similar name. In Italy, it's a little bit less like this. Uh, but, uh, okay. okay. So uh, now let's uh, study a little bit more about this, uh, uh, this uh, topological structure. So it is not that difficult to understand. Even if, uh, I was a little bit surprised uh, uh, when uh, when I saw this, uh, that uh, locally there always exists a smooth uh, vector field uh, that uh, generates the distribution. So that coincides uh, with the distribution, its uh, direction, coincides with those of the of the sorry of the characteristic foliation of the of the characteristic uh, uh, field of direction out of the of the characteristic point, and it is zero at characteristic. And moreover, you can prove that uh, this vector field has all this divergence uh, different uh, from zero. So, of course, if you give a, so this is a vector field is the one of the picture that I showed. Uh, so in the picture, it was a field of direction in, in, in the sense that the, the length was always one and it was not defined at the point. Here, I'm considering two vector fields, so that when you arrive at zoom and you arrive to the point, you go to zero, they will coincide everywhere up to the norm and up to the point. And of course, if you have a, 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 this uh, characteristic vector field that you multiply by a non-zero function, you get another one. So they are not, uh, they are absolutely not unique, this characteristic vector field. There is a way of constructing a, a canonical one, but uh, it is, uh, this is not a very important, uh, very important uh, uh, here. Okay, let's go. So. The first thing uh, that you get, um, oh, well, that I said I was surprised, that you get uh, uh, about the shape of this uh, singularity, because this uh, uh, field of direction is actually generated by a vector field. So this means that you never see pictures like this. So these are pictures that are a picture of a singularity of a two-dimensional uh, field of direction. So if you consider uh, vector fields, you don't have this feature. And if you consider just field of direction, so genetically you have this type of singularities. So these are singularities that are indexed up, half integer. I don't know if you never saw this type of, of feature. So these are singularities, these are two singularities with index uh, plus one half, and this is singularity with index minus one half. Uh, so these are the, single, the genetic singularity of field of, 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 of direction. Of course, this has an index. Uh, so, uh, I say uh, minus one half because if you connect with another one and then you connect them and then you send this to zero, then at the end uh, you get this. Uh, and this is a, a standard saddle with index one. So this is uh, uh, my minus, minus one, uh, minus one half, minus one half. And the other one, for instance, uh, this has an index uh, uh, plus one half. And if you connect, uh, connect with another one with index plus one half like this, at the end, you get something like this. 
<coughs> index one. Okay. So this is not a uh, not a strand that is like this. And uh, uh, for all of you that studied a bit, uh, remember a little bit of uh, the uh, Riemannian geometry of surface. It's actually this picture you see as uh, the, the, the the singularity of uh, the principal uh, line of curvature of the ubiquitous points. If you remember in the book of the car, there are this type of, this type of picture. So what did want to say that. Uh, since the, so we have a field of dimension, but since it is generated by a vector field, actually, you don't see this feature that I was expecting, but this type of feature are forbidden because it's given by a vector field, not by a field of direction. And also, another feature is forbidden that it is this one because well, we know that this field of direction has divergence different from C. Why actually this uh, uh, vector field here has a, a divergence equal to C? So also this type of picture you will not see for, for this uh, singularity of this uh, or, or in, a, in our group. So the fact that this is uh, uh, forbidden for uh, uh, you that uh, heard a bit about the uh, uh, subliminal geometry, it is uh, uh, forbidden also for another very deep reason. Uh, it is the fact that so this was uh, the, the main uh, result uh, by the 80s by uh, Benekin, that say that uh, every contact uh, structure, dimensional structure, it is uh, tied locally. That means that it does not exist an overtwisted disk. So what is an overtwisted disk? It is a, a, a disk, something like this, a simple disk, like this, such that the, the, the boundary of the disk is an admissible trajectory, and such that the distribution that is a tangent here is not, is not twisted. In Sabrinian, uh, in Princess in Eisenberg group, uh, for who of you that know, if you consider any disk and then uh, uh, which the boundary is horizontal, then you realize that the distribution around the disk may half turn. Uh, it never, it is obliged to make a, to make a half turn. So if it uh, does not make any turn like this, then you say this is another twist at this. And locally, this never happens. So if you take a sufficiently small uh, structure, this never happens. And of course, uh, this is the reason why this is forbidden. Because if you have a, a picture like this, so this is made by a missile trajectory, and there, is, there are no characteristic points. So the, the, the surface uh, the distribution is not, uh, it, it's not rotating. Okay, so this is was just we are kind of restricting the type of singularity that we can find in this type in this type of okay. So what we, we proved that it was to 2021 with Dalek Barilari and uh, and Daniele uh, Cannazza, uh, was uh, uh, the following theorem. So actually uh, we could prove that uh, there exists a curvature uh, like uh, uh, invariant that you can put this formula, so this is not invariant. This does not depend on the choice of, uh, of coordinate and also of the choice of the, of the characteristic uh, vector fields. Let's permit to uh, understand which type of singularity we have. So if this is between minus infinity and minus one, then we, we have a, a, a saddle like this. If this is between minus one and the infinite, then you have either a knot or a focus. So this picture here is forbidden, as I said. The case minus one is degenerate, then you can have some uh, uh, either a node or a saddle or a saddle node, some other degenerate uh, situation. But we are not too interested to this here. So we, you can actually uh, find with that singularity we have with uh, a curvature like uh, in. Okay, so now I'm still uh, uh, trying to understand uh, if uh, this uh, distance is, uh, is finite uh, or, or not. And so we uh, need to study the topology of this graph. And the first thing that we are going to consider the problem is if the trajectory arriving to a singular point are finite, the length is finite or not. And uh, one can prove that actually the length of curve arriving to the singular point, it is always finite. So the reason is not complicated. So when you, when you have a vector field in the plane and you consider, for instance, a, a focus like this, so you know that uh, the time that you need to arrive to the point, 
to the points is infinite, but the length is finite. You don't have to integrate an exponential, so this over. So in our case, the situation is not exactly the same, but the distance that you're computing, as soon as you arrive closer and closer to the similar point, become closer and closer to the Euclidean point. So because the distribution becomes tangent, to the, they, they coincide with the tangent states. So at the point, we have an Euclidean structure. And so, uh, essentially, this is the reason why this distance is uh, always uh, uh, finite. And so this means that to understand the finiteness of the distance, the only thing that is important is, uh, uh, is the shape of this surface that we are going to study now. Um, so, the, uh, so the result that I'm going uh, uh, to, to, to present here that I was actually the main result of the PhD thesis of, uh, of, of, of Daniele Canals, uh, it was not so easy to, uh, to obtain. Uh, it is an uh, interesting result uh, that was uh, actually answered to a question by, by, uh, by Deneca that says that if you consider a surface that is a, um, the kind of topology of a sphere in the Eisenberg group, so you take uh, some potatoes in the Eisenberg group, any, any shape uh, if you want it to a sphere, and then you can prove that uh, uh, the induced instantly is always finite. In this case, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm going to give a, a very bad idea of the proof now. So actually, the result is much more general. So the result will work for every structure that is tight. I explain what is tight and orientable. So orientable. Uh, so it is the fact that the, the distribution is given as the kernel but globally defined contact form. So these are global uh, problems. But locally, uh, everything looks like the Eisenberg group, and so uh, every if you're small enough, these two, these two hypotheses are always uh, <laughs> If you're big enough and the structure is, 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 is not tight, then this could uh, possibly is not, uh, is not, is not true. So this idea of the proof of this. So the idea is the following. Uh, for the controllability, uh, singularity of this type, so singularity of this type, and of this type, they are very good because they disconnect an infinite number of trajectories between them. So if you have a close to the singularity, this point is a, is a finite distance of this, and this is finite distance of this. Now to go to the, to the singularity and come back. And what is not good for, for, the, for the finiteness of the distance are this type of points because this connect only uh, Four trajectories. So these four trajectories are connected at a finite distance, but this one not located. So you can imagine that the, the other characteristic of the surface play a role. So if you are a sphere, the other characteristic it is a, it is two. So you can think uh, you have at least uh, two singularity of this type, uh, or you can have more and some subtle. So you need the sum of the, of the index for the sphere is equal, is equal to two. So you can have, a, for instance, two singularities of this type, or two of these, or you can have, I don't know, uh, uh, one like this, and then uh, uh, three like this. So you make uh, one, two, three minus one, you make two. So you see that on the sphere, you have all this more situation which you connect an infinite number of trajectory, the situation in which the people connect only four. So this helps. Moreover, we know that we don't have any periodic trajectory because of the sphere. If, you, if we would have a periodic trajectory, this would mean that the structure is not tight. Because if you have a periodic trajectory, it's not a point, then the, the, the diffusion is not turning. And then this is not possible to turn. And then the, uh, the difficult point is to eliminate a situation like this, in which you have a some trajectory that is connecting some uh, uh, singularity uh, like this, some saddles that could separate the space into parts, and this could be, could be perturbated, and one can get the result, uh, but it's not, uh, it's not obvious. So, uh, the result is that this situation is impossible, or it's not canary? No, no, it's impossible. It is impossible. So, the, the only point is that the, the, the 
this character is quite isolated. So it's not, it's not a genetic result, it's a result of what so now we said that, um, so this is a sphere and there is a group. <laughs> so the type of, uh, uh, of um, metric space that you generate in the surface, uh, it is, a, it is a, a space that is not compact, uh, because uh, uh, if you want to, so you have the, the equator of your, of your sphere, and you want to go from a point, so the distance between two points in the equator, it is always the same. Uh, for every point, because you have to go to the North Pole and then uh, and then to come back. So the distance, all these points are at the same distance one to the other one. And so if you consider uh, a sequence of, of points here, you cannot extract any converging subsequence. So this space is not uh, is not compact. So this is a way of giving a, a, a structure of a non-compact uh, metric space to uh, to an angle that is. Uh, that is uh, Actually, uh, well, uh, 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 actually, the two metric is a different point to the uh, to this. Okay, so this was uh, well, about uh, uh, about uh, the sphere, and as soon as you have a uh, surface with more holes, um, you could measure you you, you increase uh, or say you, you decrease the Euler characteristic and if you increase the number of number of holes. Holes, and you would think that uh, so you as soon you have more holes on the surface, you have more singularity like this with negative index, then singularity with positive index. And uh, for instance, if you consider a torus in the Eisenberg group, you can see that the torus has a, a, a um, this torus uh, either has a the foliation is either periodic or, or dense. And then uh, this clearly is not uh, it's not finite because you cannot connect the, the, the different points. And uh, the, the general result that we proved uh, with Eugenio uh, Bellini, it is a student of Karinsky and, uh, and Andrea Gershot, it is that if you are in uh, consider a compact orientable manifold of a higher genus uh, than, than one, uh, then you can embed the surface in this contact subliminal manifold. Uh, either you can render this distance finite or, or infinite. You have the two possibilities. So to render, uh, to prove the non-finiteness, it's enough to, to create a surface which you have only saddles. If you can, if you have a surface you have only saddles, then you have you can connect only for trajectory uh, for every singular point. And so the distance could not cannot be finite. And if you, and then for the finiteness, uh, actually you can, you can deform a rectified vector field like this in something of this form. You see here I have added, I have a, this is a pectinare in this. To create a, a two singular points, you see here I have a, I have created a singular point with index minus one, one with index one, and actually this once that you have uh, done this, so here every point was disconnected out of the line, but here now all the points in the red region are connected one to the other and they are finite distant because it's enough to go to the points and to come back. So. Uh, so actually, you can always deform your surface in such a way that you create enough singularity of this type, and then to render the, the distance, uh, the distance finite. And so this is uh, what we know now about uh, this. Uh, uh, and now let me think. This was okay. I need to be fine more. So now I come in the parts that uh, that uh, interest more. Uh, more this community. So uh, now that, uh, uh, okay, now we have this graph and we can think to uh, define uh, on this graph, a graph that I don't know, this, uh, like this, and then we have some the point, this is also like this. And uh, now we would like to know if we could, uh, if we take uh, one element of this uh, characteristic foliation, we would like to know if uh, uh, we can define a type of uh, uh, Schrodinger or heat evolution on one set element 
of, of, of the characteristic. So actually, we have two different uh, uh, approaches that we can uh, we can use. So the first one is uh, uh, an approach in which we say each uh, this or each of this line it is a, an Euclidean space because we have the you know to compute the, the length of vector that are tangent here come from the sublimine structure outside and then uh, uh, since we, we are in a you know one dimensional manifold. There is no, no geometry uh, there. And so one could uh, just consider the arc length and then consider the Schrodinger of the, uh, the Schrodinger of the heat equation for this Euclidean length. And so we end up with a Schrodinger for a heat equation in dimension one, which possibly some end point that should be, that should be studied. And uh, so one can uh, put some careful condition at the point, study all of, of this. And then uh, so this study, we we actually we have not uh, uh, it was not uh, done by everybody. So it was studied for the heat by Walsh in the in the seventies. So this theory could be developed, but uh, it is more interesting to study another uh, another heat equation that is uh, uh, associated to this uh, to this problem. That is uh, uh, that is the following. So uh, one could uh, try to extend uh, this uh, uh, this uh, Sabinian manifold or a Riemannian manifold. So there is a canonical way of doing uh, by adding one more vector field in this three-dimensional space, giving uh, uh, a norm of one over epsilon and then sending epsilon to zero. So there is a canonical way of doing this contact uh, manifold uh, because there, is, there exists a vector field that is a uh, uh, transversal to the distribution is canonical, and one could extend the metric in this way. So this is uh, uh, somehow uh, forbidden by people uh, of the actual school as I am, but actually we did without telling him, so <laughs> it was very, very, actually very interesting, because he always says to us that uh, we lose uh, everything, we make this minor approximation, he found this right, but we did it in case. And uh, so what happened is that if you do this, uh, so if you extend a subdomain and then you call one and then you pass to, uh, uh, to, the, to the limit, so the distance actually converge in the Gromos outdoors uh, sense. But there are many Riemannian points that uh, converge inside of the zero. Uh, the metric itself converge because you have this direction that becomes uh, impossible. So, uh, so, so the metric uh, we have one eigenvalue going to infinite. The Riemannian volume also, of course, it is uh, diverging. But if you go to surfaces, so if you consider surface in this three-dimensional Riemannian name that we extended for Riemannian and we send the epsilon to zero, there are two things that uh, uh, converge in a little bit mysterious way. So the first one is the Gaussian curvature. So you consider uh, Space embedded in this Riemannian manifold, so it has this Gaussian curvature, you send epsilon to zero. You would expect that this reverse, but actually this converge to something. This was uh, noticed by uh, not so many years ago by Ballon Tyson Becky for the Eisenberg group. And also the Lattas Beltrani operate on the surface to uh, converge to something. So actually, have a little bit more structure on the surface that come from this. Uh, from this uh, uh, extension. And one can prove that the Laplace the triangle operator, this uh, Riemannian extension, so converge to uh, the divergence of, uh, of, the, of the gradient, where the divergence is uh, uh, computed with respect to a volume that we call omega zero, that is a volume that is, in, in, that is on the surface that comes from the volume that we have uh, in the three dimensional space, it is called the Fock the volume that always exists in this subdomain manifold, uh, that if we contract in the subdomain normal. So I will not enter in details here, but uh, on the surface, uh, we, we have uh, a two dimensional volume that uh, it is well defined everywhere except to the characteristic point where it is zero. 
and then to the divergence of the gradient, because this is the standard Euclidean gradient on the on the on, on the one dimensional uh, structure. So this is a, if you then you compute this operator. Now I would like to use this operator to start the heat and the Schrodinger equation. If you write this in coordinates, in the coordinates, we have only one coordinate here, the arc length here on the on this line. You get an operator of this uh, uh, of this type. So you have your second order uh, Laplace, and then you have a, a first order uh, operator uh, that uh, was a term that depends on uh, on S, and we call this uh, the, the Laplacian on this uh, on this uh, on this line. And let's see what is the form of this, because this is the interesting point uh, for for. So we can always at the characteristic uh, points normalize the eigenvalue uh, on the singular points equal to one, the sum of the two equal to one. And uh, because actually if you have a characteristic vector field, you can multiply this by a constant and that nothing is, uh, is changing. And uh, this B of S, uh, so this uh, Laplace, so this is Laplace that they have here. So uh, as I said, here you have two choices. So either I use uh, d2 over ds2, s is the arc length, or I use this other one, d2 over ds2 plus uh, b of s ds. So this comes from the Riemannian approximation. This comes from the Riemannian approximation. This comes only from the Euclidean structure uh, uh, here. And so this uh, uh, B of X, uh, it is uh, something that is, uh, uh, is diverging. So on a focus, it is 2 over S. And uh, on a node or on a saddle, it is, uh, 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 it's 1 over S lambda Schlegel value divided by S. So you see, we have a, 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 a Laplace with a first order term that is, uh, that is diverging, uh, and it is, for which it is interesting to study the, the self adjoint uh, the uh, exception. So, see, first of this uh, separate joint is superator or, or not. Okay, so uh, this operator here, so one can uh, study the, the volume with respect to which is, uh, is symmetric. So, since we have this form, so this will be symmetric with respect to a volume that has a form n of s, ds, when b should be the, the the lower infinity derivative of a, of a, this is a, uh, this is a obvious, and this volume here. So this is a volume that we have here. It is a, uh, becoming a singular at the characteristic point. Uh, go as a, a constant times f multiplied to uh, s to the power one over lambda. So lambda is the corresponding eigen eigenvalue. Eigen, eigen value. So this is for example the nodes. If you arrive on this direction here with this tangent here, so the lambda is the lambda corresponding to, to this uh, again. If you arrive uh, on this side, the lambda will be uh, will be uh, will be that one. And so you see that this one can either go to zero uh, or so can either diverge or go to zero depending on the sign of the cosine. So for example, follows. The two again values have different opposite signs, and so we have on one direction that the volume go to zero, and on the other direction that the volume go to infinity. So it is very degenerate, this, this uh, uh, structure, uh, this structure there. And so, uh, what uh, maybe this I don't, uh, oh, okay, uh, just to say that uh, after this volume could be obtained as a degradation of the nation in space. Uh, but uh, let's concentrate uh, a bit uh, more on uh, on this uh, on this operator. So we have an operator of this uh, of, of this type, and uh, for Schrodinger, it is always uh, useful to make a, a unitary transformation in the space to uh, go to a two of the S so of the Euclidean uh, volume, and this permits to transform this first order term in a potential. And, and then the potential it is you can express in terms of, of B. And so you can either use this operator here or the original, or the original operator. So this will be with respect to the his volume, and this uh, with the potential will be with respect to the uh, to the critical volume. And uh, once you do this, uh, you can study how this V of S is diverging. So uh, 
the VOX is going as a, one over S for, for flow G, and, uh, and uh, otherwise it's going as one over S squared. And so you see that the process of joint is, uh, is uh, we have some uh, difference. You know this that we need. So we use uh, the, the, the famous uh, uh, result uh, in the grid sign that says that the uh, operator of, of this type uh, S squared is essentially a uh, joint if and only if uh, C is uh, bigger or, or equal than, uh, than uh, 3 over 4. And so uh, this permits to understand that if uh, we have self adjointness or not uh, at, at, uh, when we arrive here, but I say parent, of course, on the self adjointness on the, on the different endpoints. And if it is self adjoint, this means that uh, there is no communication. It means that uh, if you have a, a wave function here, uh, this uh, could arrive uh, some, mm -hmm. somehow to the singular points, but uh, you will not be able to, to send somewhere else in, in, in the graph because the, the evolution is defined completely on this, uh, on this part. On the other side, if it is not essentially a joint, then this means that uh, when you arrive here, you could study some of like uh, self adjoint extension and then uh, send uh, the your wave function on the different, uh, uh, different lines uh, of, uh, of, of the graph, so depending on the self adjoint extension that they, you are. You are okay, and so the, the result about self adjointness is the following. So uh, it is written in terms of this uh, curvature like uh, invariant. So if, if this is a uh, this curve is, is uh, uh, less than minus three over four, then you have a, a focus, and with a focus, we are never uh, essentially self adjoint because you remember this was one over s, huh? so one over s is uh, you are never you, it's not strong enough for self adjointness. So for nodes, we have two situations depending on the on the value of the of this curvature like invariant. So either you are not essentially self adjoint anywhere. Or you are essentially self adjoint on all the uh, curves except two. Uh, so, this means, for instance, in this case, you could only have a flow uh, along this, uh, uh, this line. And for solids, you are either not essentially self adjoint in any of these four. So, here are just four lines that we are considering. Or you are self adjoint on, uh, on two lines and not on, uh, on, uh, on the other two. And what we are studying now is a uh, is, uh, yeah. Carol and uh, Ricardo uh, Adami. We are trying to classify the possible separate extension with a kind of like uh, condition to if uh, make sense. So we can really uh, make some uh, uh, your wave function the, when I write to the, to the points to, to, to divide itself on the different uh, on, on, on the different. Uh, 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 lines that, that, that arise there. But I should, uh, I should mention the fact, so now I'm, I'm going to stop here, that the problem uh, to study this uh, uh, <coughs> extension of clear of light condition, of course, this is uh, there is no problem on, uh, on, on something like this, uh, because you, so these are not standard, uh, of course. Uh, here to find condition because everything is virgin there, so one should do that, should do think carefully. But this is uh, this is doable. So here there is no, no problem because you have only four lines, so you can do your kit of uh, as it was graph. So you just consider the fact that the graph can be divergent term there. But on on the nodes, uh, the situation it is uh, uh, much more complicated because it is not clear. Because uh, to, to write a clear of like conditions, so here we have a continuous of lines, so one need a measure, uh, an angular measure of the lines, and it is absolutely not clear if uh, we, we have some intrinsic measure that, uh, uh, that, that we can put on this, uh, on, on, uh, on the different, uh, on the different uh, lines that arrive, arrive to the, the to, to the singular points. So for this type of thing, should the, for nodes, for, for focus, 
could uh, should be possible to do, but this is a little bit, uh, little bit uh, mysterious things that we are, we are still thinking to this. And uh, I thank you uh, for your attention.